Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crypto C Investigation, where we look at cryptocurrency projects and we ask ourselves, shall we be investing in them? Today we're going to be looking at Metal Pay. If you guys like what I do on this channel, please like and subscribe, and have a read of that jazz if you want to comment below. Um, cool, so this is going to be an interesting one. Um, <laughs> where do we go from here? Market cap is currently over 100 million, but that could be manipulated. And here is one reason why I might be thinking that. Um, if we have a look at a bunch of these comments, um, there is a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so we've got like, so a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, should we be shorting now? It's a scam token. Oh man, this is so like a pump and dump. Oh, this is really bad. So I mean, they do have a genuine use case from what I have seen. Okay, so first of all, who exactly is Metal Pay, right? Um, so when it comes to Metal Pay, um, they are. Um, let's see if I can show you an app. So essentially, um, actually, not this video will describe it. So what is Metal Pay? Um, so it's an app that lets you and your friends get and receive money. So they're sort of both saying that 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 there is like like you you can do this all for free and essentially there is like no money like what you have to spend with it right so essentially when you send money to somebody i don't know if it's when you receive money but it's when you send money um that you also get like you can receive their metal token right so that's what you can get from them right um <clears throat> yes so that is essentially a brief o overview of what they do um <laughs> Which is pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, I think that, like, I think that uh, that on paper it's a wonderful idea. Or oh, sorry, the MTL token, I should probably say. Um, but they've had a pretty fat pump um, quite recently, so they've gone all the way from like uh, one five up to like two point three. So you know, you would have gotten some decent coinage from that. Um, <clears throat> also, in terms of the exchanges, it is on Binance. So because it is on Binance. You know what we have to do, we have to tick this bad boy as 10, because that is a 10 out of 10. Um, yes, another thing which is a bit of a problem is that when I select their, 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 their white paper, their website does not have a white paper, okay? So they do not have a white paper from what I could see or from what I could find. Um, however, when I clicked onto the white paper, as you can see, metalpay.com slash assets slash pdf slash whitepaper.pdf 404, this page could not be found. So I'm like, okay, what's kind of going on there? Um, so this is their YouTube channel, um, and the fact that I can't see white paper is buggy as. Um, <clears throat> so from what I can see, they have done a whole bunch of tutorial videos, which is wonderful. Um, they sort of teach you how to do a bunch of things, which is really cool. And then, so in terms of their media from that side, it's also great that they are also trying to update it as well. Um, so there's definitely some positives regarding that. Um, don't know why I opened this. But so far, we've got one vote on this. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do, so I did have another video which is going to be scheduling for this evening, but I'm going to probably do this one for this evening instead. So just so that you, you guys know, please vote on this project. <laughs> um, yes, and the other videos are going to probably not make too much sense uh, when it comes to, to that part. So MTL, um, so the metal pay token, uh, this is their Telegram, so they, they've got 3,000 members, um, and also, so I joined their Discord, and the Discord's got 5,000 members, and I asked this question, I said, yo, yo, can someone answer me some questions, I'd like to know more about the project, nobody responded, this was at 6pm when I asked that question, it's currently three hours later, so that gives you guys a bit of an idea of their community. Um, <clears throat> This is currently what we can see according to either scan. Now there's some now there's a huge red flag right here. What do you guys see? Can you guys see it? There is no contracts on the left hand side. Nothing. No smart contracts at all. And the fact that you have this one wallet which holds 50% of the total supply is such a red flag that I don't ever think I've seen something which is which has had that much of an obvious red flag in any of the projects which which I've looked at. I think maybe there might be some earlier ones which I might have done which have like 75%, but like, that is... Run. That is my answer. Run. Um, they do have Binance. They've got a few Binances. 
um, and they do have a few other ones. So these would be, I guess, the those exchanges own personal wallets. They have FTX on here. Dang, um, <clears throat> I didn't even see that when I was looking, th looking through their exchanges. Um, they got KuCoin and Gate.io as well. So yeah, so th these guys have been around for a long time. Um, so that's pretty impressive. Now here is something which is also a bit interesting. Um, oh, I tried to see if I could find them on here to see if we could actually sell it. Um, oh my gosh. Is that... We'll move on from that Binance thing. Um, so this is what BSC check tells us. They say seam scam. They said that it is a honeypot, but I'm like, how is it a honeypot if it's also on Binance? So here's a bit of a confusing thing. So I actually went to honeypot.is and this is what they say about it. Yep, honeypot. Address, there. Metal. Execution reverted. Do not know what that means. If anybody knows what that means, please tell me. That'd be great. Um, but so both Token Sniffer and BSC Check will be pulling off that. So both of them say that it is a honeypot, right? Um, one reason why I don't think it is a honeypot is because it's on like a bunch of like centralized exchanges, and they would likely be allowing you to buy and sell it as they would any other token. Um, so that's why I'm sort of thinking less so that it is a honeypot so I'm gonna ignore that I'm gonna pretend that I that I did not see it um, <laughs> yeah so token supply like this is 48% there um, which I mean that's definitely a big analysis seems scam um, and then so verified contract source uh, ownership announce or owner does not contain contract um, here are some other sort of similar token contracts which have been released which are similar to uh, this one here um, but yeah, and also we can see that they do actually have um, a bit of liquidity. I mean, four ETH worth of liquidity, which is... Uh, we can probably find out from Moonarch, $71,000. <laughs> um, yeah, so we can see max supply and then we can see non-burn supply. Um, Moonarch doesn't really say that it has anything that suspicious um, in their actual contract. Um, it does say transfer should not have modifier, only payload size. Um, I mean that's kind of like the only real thing, um, which I mean I'm not I'm, I'm not a developer so I wouldn't really know what that means. Um, but yeah, in terms of the rest of it, uh, it also says that the token age is from uh, the 30th of June 2017, so it's been around for a while, which does definitely sort of add to the idea um, that these guys are in here for the long term, um, and the fact that they are on a bunch of well reputable exchanges, um, it's pretty impressive. So. Next section, we'll have a look at their Twitter. Um, so as you can see, they've got, uh, so they're, well actually, we'll, we'll jump here. This is that they've got 74,000 followers. Um, in the last 30 days, they've had 813 followers, um, which is pretty impressive, pretty incredible. Um, yeah, so I'm not too sure exactly what the main cause of that would have been, um, but good on these guys, growing and stuff, great. Um, next section, couldn't find any sort of bot comments, um, didn't see anything which was mega obvious from their Twitter to tell me that, you know, like, they've had some big, wild, fantastic news. Um, so I couldn't see anything regarding that, but there might be something hidden amongst there. In terms of interviews and AMAs, um, so they did have, so they, they do have AMAs, but most of these AMAs are older than two years old, and YouTube's two years old is usually like three years old. Um, <laughs> so it's a bit annoying that, you know, they don't really have too many up-to-date ones. I mean, uh, Gilgon Crypto is probably the latest one, um, but yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know, it'd be nice to maybe have a, a bit more um, speech. But I guess with what they're actually doing, they probably don't really need that many AMAs because it's not like crazy complicated. Um, so when we have a look at some of the Google Trends over the, over the last five years, as you can see, they had a big moment in 2019, had another big one in 2020. Over the last 12 months, we'll see if they've had anything, any interesting things. So March, look at that. March has been the sort of main one where they've actually been searched quite a bit. So impressive, good on these guys. Um, and over the last 90 days, once again, we're coming into March again. And as you can see, a whole bunch of um, searches as well. In the last 30 days, it's, yeah, so March 22nd looks like a big day for them. Um, this is their main website. From what I could see from the website, the links do definitely work. 
Um, I believe they're only available in the States though. Uh, so it says, sorry, we, we are, uh, sorry, we are currently <laughs> available in these States with the rest to follow soon. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I feel like this sort of idea would be wonderful if it goes global. Your boy who's in New Zealand, um, <laughs> could be able to benefit from this as well. Um, yeah, so their, their websites, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's standard. It's not wonderful. It's not horrible. It's, yeah. Um, but we don't have the really important information which which we really which we really want to know. We do see an about section, and we do have some faces for some of the people, which is wonderful. So I really appreciate that. Thank you, team, um, for you know showing your faces and doxing yourselves to some extent. But where do we see like the white paper? Where is the link to your medium? Like where's the link to your YouTube channel? Um, I don't know. It just sort of feels a bit empty-ish, to be honest. Um, but for most people, this would probably be pretty standard. And then we'll have a look at their delicious Reddit. Um, so this is their Reddit page. Wonderful, fantastic. And they had the <laughs> somebody posted this "you up?" question mark. And I was like, all right, let's have a look at this. Anybody know why MTL is up so much by itself this morning? I looked around and cannot find any news. So apparently, and this is this is from what these redditors say. Um, <clears throat> the redditors have found out. That Metal Pay is going to go live in Europe. Uh, they kind of announced it last year uh, to be on the roadmap. Also, they don't even show a roadmap on their website um, for 2022 uh, at Bitcoin 2020 in Amsterdam. And with this year's edition coming up in June, it will be. Um, so somebody else mentioned something about uh, a European-based announcement. Uh, will will so i.e. Metal Pay now available in Belgium. So. That could be one of the reasons for the upcoming pump, um, just so that you guys are aware, are aware. according to some of these uh, subreddit stats. Um, so subscribers, um, they've been pretty tame for like a long time. So I mean, I wouldn't say they're growing very big when it comes to that. Um, so comments per day, uh, <laughs> you had a huge amount um, during that 20, uh, the, during that 2021 uh, 20, uh, mark, um, 2022. Um, hasn't been a heck of a lot, but they could also be because these haven't been updated to what's happened today, because I imagine that since this was posted in the last 18 hours, um, that, you know, they're not including those extra comments there, so there would be quite a few more. Um, and then post per day, um, as you can see, they're sort of uh, a bit on the lower side, it, again, um, some days are a bit are bigger than, than others, but yeah, so... In terms of the sort of subreddit stats, they're not crazy impressive, they're pretty okay. Now, your boy's on Google Play, um, I use Android. So what I did is that I tried to look at, at the reviews here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, you can't really see my sidebar. Uh, let me see if I can do this, there we go. Um, so have a look at the sidebar for a moment. Um, check out how these change, okay? So we go from one star, two star, three star, four star, and five star. So when you compare five to one, I mean, you can see that there is so many more like one star things. Um, and then when we compare two to four, um, there is more two star than there is four star, and then three star there is the least of. So yeah, I think that kind of gives us a bit of an example um, of <laughs> of uh, whether or not the app actually works. And it says this app is not available for your device, but for me, it's um, also not available in my country when I try to download it. So that's a thing. Um, so CEO Marshall, let's have a look at some of his background slash experience. So he's been a chief marketing officer for Block.io. He was the creator of the Bitcoin Fair. Um, he was part of the community for Stellar Development Foundation and also the founder and CEO for Block uh, Block AI. Block AI or Block AI? Um, yeah, so he's definitely got a wide variety when it when it comes to his background. Similar with Glenn, um, so he was an IT assistant for not going to name them, um, and IT consultant for Kronos, um, Intershop e-commerce consultant, and JEE web developer for Finego. Uh, full stack developer for IDA or IDA uh, Media Foundry, and now the co-founder and CTO of Metal. 
and we have one more person to look at. I uh, don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Irina. Irina. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, so she was a mentor for Founder Institute, an advisor for Casper Labs, managing director for Golden Seeds. Um, still, so so it looks like she's actually still doing a bunch of these. So she's actually still a part of these teams. So this is a busy lady. Um, unless she just hasn't <laughs> gone and crossed them off for whatever reason. Um, managing director for IBLS Global and currently for Metal. So she, so she was uh, the vice pre president of finance uh, and then she went to the chief financial officer and now she is a board member. So yeah. So in terms of all of that, we do know quite a bit of information about, about these guys, which is really good. So now we come to this part of the show where we go and direct them and see if they're worthy. Are they worthy of a five star? Um, <laughs> functional and clean media slash website. It's pretty functional, clean-ish. Um, doesn't have like enough information, I don't think so. I'll give them about a seven, because um, yeah, I just feel like with the amount of missing information, it's not very good. Um, any threatening big boy holders? Absolutely, we're going to give them about a one star for that, because it's horrible. The fact that, that they have an unlocked wallet, which holds over 50%, that is horrendous. Um, didn't find any bot comments, so these guys get a 10 for that. Um, is the token slash coin distribution fair? We do not know. Um, if we go best off that one other comment, then we'll put it down to a one, but I'll put not applicable for the time being because we can't actually see that. And it doesn't seem like they're trying to hide it from us. Um, it just seems like maybe they just, I don't know, haven't made a, haven't made a public. Solid roadmap, could not see it, does not count. Um, is the team doxed with LinkedIn? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I don't feel like the whole entire project is just with three people. So, and the fact that it's got so many downvoted reviews, it's probably not really great. So I'll give them about a seven for that. Um, Cause we don't really get to see anybody else on the, on the team interviews and AMAs. They're good, but they are old. But I'll give them about an eight. Um, it'd be nice to maybe have like an updated one being like, hey guys, like it would be nice to maybe see a bit more team interaction with, you know, the public. Um, any relevant team experience? I would say yes, from what we could see from the exec team, yes. Uh, any notable partnerships? Couldn't see any, I'll put not applicable. Um, dang, that's a high score. I don't like how it's that high. I'm gonna untick both of these. <laughs> you guys are probably like, Matt, what are you doing? Um, solid roadmap, couldn't see one. I'm taking that. Is the token slash coin distribution fair? Couldn't see it. One star. There we go. Three star. That's more like it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to give these guys that. Uh, 54 out of 90. Oh, and then notable partnerships. Couldn't see them. We'll make it two and a half star, right? Um, actually, no. They are with Binance. Uh, it's not a partnership, but it's it's big. I'll give them a 7 for that. Um, totally forgot about that. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's been my video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do want to have... If you have any fan requests or anything, please consider becoming one of my advocates on here. If you do want to join the Discord community, you can also become a supporter or an advocate because both of them are able to go there. If you do wish to comment, please say something sweet or nice or which is going to be, going to be beneficial for others to read. Um, and also, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing this video, if you did actually like it, because, um, yeah, I really want to be able to get my stuff out there, man. Yeah, um, anyway, much love, guys. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Be safe. Uh, look after your mother, your grandmother, and your father. Um, goodbye.